Hey guys, back again. Somebody on the forum mentioned some uh, digital CCD cameras for reworking uh, so they can see the uh, BGA balls uh, melt when they're reflowing and that sort of thing. And uh, they listed a couple of products and I went for this one just really to try it. I don't do a hell of a lot of rework uh, these days but I thought this sort of thing might be useful and it's probably a useful review for the other guys on the forum who were thinking about one. Oh, this was pretty cheap actually from China. We've got the main CCD camera and the lens, well I went for the 6 to 15 mm uh, lens f1.4 and uh, it all comes with lens caps, I've chucked them in the box already so uh, I'll just put this camera down so yeah, just remove the lens caps and it just screws into place like that. It does actually say made in Japan on there, but I don't know whether that's really the case or not. So the wire, I say the plug has a notch on it, so that can just go in there. Out of all the high definition TVs and monitors I've got in the workshop, none of them have a uh, suitable input so what I've done is I've got another TV out of the house just a cheap crappy tech wood uh, that's used upstairs to monitor the CCTVs and uh, we're just going to use that so actually I think I used the black on the other end it's a handy little tripod mount there and I'm just going to use one of these little mini tripods just to set this up and uh, we've got a small PCB there and we'll just plug the AC in, sorry the DC power supply in just get the little red light on the uh, on the back there you can see it and we'll just get that board at a range that you might be away from the, your BGA rework uh, piece, and we'll just the focus on uh, this is um, it's quite hard to achieve because it's quite a coarse adjustment. I'm just trying to get this camera in the right place. So at the front here, you have the telephoto option. If I turn it around, you can see the lens. Hopefully moving, Actually, I don't know whether you can or not. Yeah, you should be able to see the lens go in and out. And uh, this ring here is the focus. But it's only got a sort of mm, 90 degree range, so it's quite coarse. It really needed a more of a fine control to it. But let's see if we can get this uh, PCB in focus. quite fussy the focus point so you can see the uh, the distance there we're focused on the PCB at the back and that is the sort of image that you're going to uh, get from it perfectly acceptable now you can bring the work piece right the way in if you wanted to do some close visual inspection you can bring it right up so you're about a centimeter or two in front of the lens I'm just gonna look at this for you and try and yeah see you I'm holding the PCB that's why it's shaking and you've got to adjust the focus just by moving that PCB backwards and forwards and uh, you can actually get closer than that which I'm going to try and do now can actually get this right in front. Let's see if I can focus it for you. There we go. So we're on that little pick processor, and I am almost touching the lens body. So you can do some 
reasonable inspection. This is uh, supposedly an 800 TV line camera. No idea what the resolution of the TV screen is. I generally, by high definition, 1920 by 1080 sets these days. So yeah, that's close up inspection. It's quite hard to do this with one hand on the camera, and so yeah. You can see what, uh, what you can achieve with this. Now as far as the distance uh, for safe reworking, um, yeah, I guess we'll be looking about that sort of distance. So let's see what we can get focused on. Yeah, it's just a real problem, this fine control. I suppose you'd need to uh, have an adjustment where you can move the whole camera around just very slightly, or I suppose you could move the, the workpiece very slightly to achieve the best focus. So that, that would be a more than safe distance on a rework station, certainly mine. In fact, I could probably get it a lot closer, but that's what you're looking at and probably that is nowhere near good enough to see balls melt on a BGA. Let's just bring it in a little bit closer, see what we can get. Probably the easiest thing is to put the focus on maximum and then just use the zoom in and out Bit to achieve focus at that set distance. So now you can see how far we are away there, and uh, now that is the quality of the picture that you're going to get. Yeah, I'm not sure it's uh, it's really good enough. I'll probably need a higher power lens. I'm just trying to get this. To focus again. Let's bring it a little bit closer. Yeah, I don't know whether that's uh, that's the right lens for BGA work. I could certainly reflow this chip by looking at the. You know, if this camera was above the workpiece, but uh, yeah, I can certainly reflow that chip or replace it. But really, the the picture is not. I mean, it's good, but it's not. It's not high definition. If I connected this camera up now to this, uh, you know, the the 4K camera the picture would be far better it's possibly usable you might be able to see the chip just drop down I'm just going to really spin the camera around again so I've got this on the side now I'm just trying to move it into focus Yeah, somewhere there. I don't know. If that was a BGA, could you see it reflow? I guess the only way is to is to try and uh, see whether it works or not. Yeah. Anyway, just a, a quick look at that uh, CCTV camera with the six to fifteen mil lens. Catch you later.